Hi everyone, this is Christina from Pip Supply and today I'm going to show you guys how to make these adorable little pinwheel bows. We actually call these our Ruth bows. We do sell the bow strips pre-done, but we also now have an option where you can purchase the piece of fabric. It's pre-cut. It comes with a pattern that you get to choose um, and all you got to do is sew it. So it's pretty simple. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to walk you through this, but the pattern or the the bow strip pattern, I guess you could say, would come cut just like this for you. So it'll cut out some of those steps, make it a little bit easier for you. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your fabric and you're going to want to lay the front side of where your pattern is and you're just gonna wanna face both ends in. So they're gonna be facing each other just like that. So you should be able to see the back side when you flip both ways when you flip it both ways. Um, next, I'm just gonna place a few of these clips just to kind of hold it in place for me. Um, a good idea before you start placing your clips, I should have did this first, um, is to fold it in half and just put a clip right down where the center is because we're gonna leave an opening right there and I'll show you how to do that in a second. That should be good. You can place some. You can place more if you need to. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and start at the top part, and we're just going to sew down a straight line. And then when we get to the center, we're going to leave about an inch opening, and that's going to allow us to flip our fabric um, right side out. Okay, so I'm going to start at the top end, and we're just going to put our presser foot down. And let me grab this. Okay, you're going to want to do a back stitch to start just to close up the beginning. Let me grab this clip out. Sorry, I'm trying to do this while looking through the camera. All right, then when you get to about right there, you're just gonna lift this, turn your fabric, set it back down, and then continue to sew. And you just want about a quarter of an inch away from your edge. You don't wanna go too far in. All right, so remember, this is where my center was. So I'm gonna go a little bit closer. And remember, we wanna leave about an inch wide right in that center. So I'm gonna get in a little bit more. I'm gonna back stitch right here. And then I'm just gonna lift this and pull my fabric through about an inch. And you can just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be exactly an inch. You just want enough um, room to be able to flip it the right side out, okay? We're going to put that back down and continue, sorry, continue to stitch. Same thing, you want to close up that stitch so it doesn't open on you because that part's going to stay um, opened. So right on down to the end. Let me make sure these stay nice and together. And then, like I said, there's a little hole right here that we left for an opening. We're just gonna trim off any fabric or any threads that we got. Get these, and this shouldn't open up because we did a back stitch on both ends. So you should be good. Not have to worry about it coming undone. Okay, so I started flipping my fabric right side out. And I have this little tool, I actually forgot to use it. Um, but you're just going to want to flip everything facing the right way, and that was right in that center. You just kind of shake it. Let's see if I can use my stick to kind of help us pull through. Alrighty. Get that end right there so it's kind of 
more pointed. Alrighty, so now I have my piece of fabric. You guys can see that. I got a little piece of thread right there. Let me know. Oh, that's just loose. Alright, so there's my fabric, and then I'm just gonna um, iron it down. So let me get that set up, and then I will show you guys how to tie it and add a clip. Okay, so the reason you want to iron it is because you don't want this part, you want it to get like folded nicely in. That way it's not popping out on you, okay? So, my little Cricut iron right here. I'm just gonna make sure that's folded in. And just do a quick little press right in that center. And then you can also press your ends and it'll give you more of like a crisp look on the ends. And we got ourselves a nice little bow strip. So next, we're gonna tie it. Let me go grab a clip, and then we will go ahead and show you how to tie it. Okay, so I grabbed a clip. How I like to tie mine is I like to make sure that this like pointed end is facing away from me, okay? And you can do it either way, but if it's facing in, it gives you like a different style of bow, or like how the ends face. So you're gonna grab two loops, kind of like um, two little bunny ears, you're gonna cross them. And then with this finger, your pointer finger, you're gonna tuck it into the loop that you just made, okay? And it doesn't always look that great at first, but I promise you, like once you get a rhythm going with these bow strips, they look good. You just gotta play around with them a little bit. And we do have another video, I'll link it below, that shows you how to tie them and it just walks you through the steps. So that's how you get your bow tied, super easy. Um, and you can kind of adjust it to make sure everything's even. And then, let me make sure this tail is facing the right way, there we go. Then you're gonna grab your clip and depending which way you want it, um, you're gonna just slide it through the loop in the back. And then to secure it even more, you can add some hot glue underneath the clip, under here, and then you can also add it under your knot up in the front on both ends and that way it for sure does not come undone on you. But anyway, super simple. Um, hopefully you guys find this useful and be sure to check out the shop. I'll link below where you guys can find those unfinished um, pieces of fabric. That way you guys can make your own Ruth bow strips as well. Have a great night, guys.